for your data science projects. Do you often do this? If you do, then you're probably wasting a couple of seconds or even a minute to import all of the necessary libraries. Wouldn't it be better if you could magically use a single line to represent all of this? If this sounds like a great idea, then this video is for you because today we're going to be talking about the PyForest Python library. And without further ado, we're starting right now. So the PyForest library will allow you to essentially import a single line of code and then you could just forget about importing the prerequisite lines such as the import pandas as pd or import numpy as np because you could just simply import PyForest and then you could just use the library as you would normally do but without having to import pandas, numpy, seaborn, matplotlib and even scikit-learn as well. And so let's get started and have a look at an example here. So the first thing that you want to do is install the PyForest library. And you could do this by pip install PyForest. All right, and now it's installed. And before importing the PyForest library, we're going to try to use the pandas, numpy, and seaborn, and matplotlib, but without importing the necessary lines. Because normally you would do this, right? Import pandas as pd for the pandas, right? Let's try it. Okay, just to show you that it's not working because we haven't yet imported the line. And numpy as well, right? Import numpy as np, or even for matplotlib and seaborn when you're using it together. And so you can see that all of this are giving you errors, okay? And so now we're going to import just a single line of code, import PyForest, run it, all right? And let's try this again. And now it works normally, but without even have to importing this line. And let's try NumPy, it works as well. And how about Seaborn and Matplotlib? All right, so everything works perfectly fine. And now you could just simply save a couple of seconds or even a minute in importing all of these lines of code. And so you could replace this by just typing in import pi forest. That's all. So if you're finding value in this video, please smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And as always, happy coding.